So let's get started. Um, I'm just going to be busy doing demo. So <laughs> I hope the demo gods are with me today. Um, and uh, yeah, basically, this, I want to talk about these three tools: uh, Koji tool, Fedora repo query, and uh, DNF repo. Yeah, I don't have any slides, so it's going to be quite informal. Um, for this one, Koji tool. Um, is already available in, uh, in in Fedora updates. Uh, actually, it yeah it, it went into Fedora just after um, kind of um, Fedora thirty six. Um, however, I just released a new version today, which has some nice fixes. But it's only uh, in, well, it's only in Koji the Omdex. It should be in the next Rawhide release push. Um, And yes, and then there's Fedora repo query, which is a small wrapper of a DNF repo query, which ideally it allows you to query different like versions of Fedora or Apple and so on. Um, fortunately, it's not quite as complete as I'd hoped, but anyway, I'll show you it and uh, yeah, give you some idea how it works. I mean, yeah. And the last tool, uh, DNF repo, is just a kind of local tool to control one's uh, DNF repos in a kind of sort of dynamic way. Um, so yeah, let's see how that works. And yeah, and if you have questions, please yeah, feel free to drop them in the chat. I'll try and keep uh, an eye out. Oh, there's also the Q&A uh, section. Um, all right, so I'm sitting here at a, uh, a Rawhide. Um, instance, um, just your toolbox, but anyway. Um, so actually I'll start a little backwards. And so this is DNF repo and it, yeah, it's just listing all the repos that exist basically in the, uh, um, well, m most of them anyway, that exist in the, uh, et cetera, uh, yeah, yeah, yum repos.d directory and I'm kind of bothered by this one. I don't. I'm not going to be using modular um, repos tonight. So first thing I'm going to do is to try and uh, does it, oh yeah, maybe I can show some help here. So this is this is um oh it's a little bit too big actually. Um, hope the text isn't too small. Is it? Um, um yeah. So can do various things like um. You can just add a copper repo um, or a Koji repo easily. Um, also, you can disable repos temporarily, uh, like for the next. You can also run yeah, DNF transactions directly from DNF repo. So, I mean, one, like one thing, for example, you could do is it in a uh, well. This is raw hide, so it's not. So, <laughs> but we'll, we'll have a look at it in a moment in, in uh, yeah in a uh, in 36. Um, so let's say I, let me just get back to this list. So let's say I want to disable this uh, repo because I, I don't need it. Then I can, um, firstly I can, yeah, there's an option here actually. So there are some specific options just for testing and modular repos. Um, so if I do minus M, it will disable it, but it doesn't actually save that. So that, that's only a temporary thing. So I could like do a transaction, I don't know, like um, um, DNF update or something, and it would then avoid using the modular repo, um, for example. Anyway. But I'm, I'm going to run uh, this minus S, which is uh, to save, to save the actual changes in state. So, um, okay. So now the modular repo has been disabled. Yeah, I mean, it's... And I know this isn't sort of particularly amazing, but it's just quite convenient uh, to have this. Um, and I often find I keep getting into like uh, VMs or containers where like the Cisco repo is pre-enabled or modulars and so on. So having a little wrapper like tool like this to quickly disable things and or it's kind of useful. Um, then there's a uh, the repo query. Um, so let's see what version of uh, 
Um, yeah. So it, it yeah. So but basically, it, it it sort of just okay. I can actually show maybe um, what it's doing. Yeah, it's basically just running this a DNF repo query with various options. Um, and the nice thing is that it it sort of um, yeah it'll it'll um, it, it defines a, uh, a repo ID and uh, also um, yeah repo name. So it if so this particular query or this 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 the repo data for this query is is oh if if this um, yeah is saved under. This everything rawhide. Um, um, and similarly, if you have a, if you do a thirty six query, then it will say that under uh, the thirty six. So it, it it I mean, if you try to use DNF repo query like and then say use like release ver or something to override the version, it will it will actually override the uh, all your repo data. So that every time you switch back and forth between versions, it will download all the repo data again. So this uh, keeps the repo data for different versions separate. So um anyway um oops, I can make it a little bit bigger so yeah so currently there's uh, so let's install this thing um now um, um this is the old version which is also available in fedora 36 um oh, it's lower than I expected <coughs> Um, oh dear. Okay. All right. Um, so that's there now. Um, however, I actually want to use the, the newer version. Uh, let's say so. I'm going to use a uh, Fedora tool which has various commands, and one of the commands it provides is install. So. Um, well, maybe before that, let's let's find the build that I did earlier. Um, um, so I can use this um, mine option, which will list my builds and my recent builds. Um, probably my ten most recent builds. Okay, so that, yeah, the first one. So this this is a bit like a sort of a <laughs> command line interface to. I mean, similar to Claude Web, I guess, in some sense. Um, I mean, obviously, you can also use the, the normal Koji uh, command line tool to get some of this functionality. But one nice thing is that it shows the uh, yeah the, the, the links to the builds. Um, it also, um, yeah, shows the state and the uh, time that builds finished. Um, and I could... Uh, Look at the latest build, which is the one I'm actually interested in, which has a little bit more information. Um, shows how long the build took, like seven minutes. Um, some more links. Um, yeah. And now, yeah, so now let me um, install that package since it's not available yet in, in Rawhide, at least not in my mirror, at least. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, I can just type. Koji tool. So I'm not going to use Koji tool to install a new version of Koji tool. That should be fine. Um, and uh, yeah, so this is yeah version zero nine three, which is um, a new build, and it's now downloading the package from the Koji and uh, now using DNF to install it. All right, so that was a very brief introduction to the three tools. Um, I think I can say a little bit more about them. Um, yeah, so maybe a little bit more about... Uh, oh, there's a question about... Um, well, it's a standalone tool at this point. I, I don't know, it's... Um, I'm not sure that... Well, I don't know. I, perhaps something could. Well, I don't know. If I mean, if that functionality looks really promising, then maybe someone may want to think about whether it should be integrated in some other way. But 
Um, okay. Good question. Um, all right. So a little bit more about uh, Koji tool. Um, so as I mentioned, yeah, you can do. So Koji is a little bit funny in some ways that. So you can like search for builds pretty easily, but searching for tasks is actually a bit harder because you can't like search tasks by package name or so on directly. Um, another quirk of Koji is that it, it well the uh, the uh, yeah the, the web API uses XML RPC, but anyway. Um, um, so anyway, there are these two main commands: um, builds and tasks. So builds is particularly for um, yeah we already saw that earlier um, I think over here when we uh, listed the uh, oh yeah the builds here um, let's try it again um, so yeah I could I could list all the builds of of Koji tool for example um, okay there aren't so many but well it it just shows the ten latest ones I think but. Um, Let's see what else, uh, anything else I should mention here. So yeah, there are various options, but um, um, but you can even install packages directly from here too. But anyway, it may be easier to do it using the install command. It's more flexibility. Okay. Um, and somewhat similarly with tasks. Um, well, let's see what tasks are building currently in Koji. Um, yeah, there's various ones. Um, okay, and uh, yeah, you, you can search for your own tasks. I mean, if you have a, uh, it, it uses a Kerberos to determine your fast ID, or you can search for another user's builds. Um, this is the latest option. You can decide how many results you want. Um, you can also search by state, like if it's closed or failed, or which can be quite useful. Um, you can also search by arch, uh, the time, and methods as well. So sometimes you want to search like for when the last, last uh, I don't know, like new new repo, say a uh, job was or something like that. Or, uh, yeah, and here you can, so you, yeah, you can. <laughs> Search for task by package, but what it's actually doing is it's actually looking for builds, and then it goes and finds the the ta build tasks that correspond to those builds. Um, similarly for NVR, um, um, yeah. Another nice feature of this is that you can edit, can display build logs, for example. So let's um, look. Oops. Uh, uh, oops, I'm using the wrong command. Uh -huh. um, okay. So, um, actually, I'm going to demo it since we're running out of time. Um, there's another. There's another command. Um, I'll come back to this, but um, I've already shown install. But actually, install has some more advanced features. So, um, for example, it can. If the if a package is already installed and then you're trying to install a newer version, then it will only, for example, install the sub packages which aren't currently installed in your system by default. And you can also do um, filtering, so you can specify which packages using glob globs uh, or which packages to exc exclude. For some very large packages like which have hundreds of sub packages, this can be really useful. Um, uh, yeah, Not sure if I have an example here. For example, uh, yeah, I was trying with like Google Noto has a lot. This one example, <laughs> very big package. Um, okay, this is going to list them. So, so here, well, it's still it's still listing all the packages, but it's only listing a subset of the packages here, like the ones which are sans vf. Um, example. Um, yeah, so that's quite handy as well. Um, okay, I think I have about five minutes left. Um, another useful thing is this uh, progress command. Um, 
Yeah, so it'll actually track, it'll, um, yeah, we need to find some tasks maybe. Um, right, oh, but basically what it does is, yeah, that it, um, well, let's try running it, see what happens. I think maybe there are no tasks right now, yeah. Um, it'll just, it just, it just tracks builds by the size of the build logs. So it'll like show how big the build logs are growing. Um, perhaps I could find some example. Um, well, I could look at this one maybe, just for example. Sure that works. So here's an example. Um, um, okay, the SLPM has finished, but it's yeah, it's just it's still building the uh, other packages there. So um, I don't know for for large builds for packages which take a long time, like it's really quite useful. I find anyway. And another fun command is this find command, which basically can, well, it's a, yeah, you can basically write, well, it only has a limited number of uh, sort of things that it understands, but you can write various things like uh, my, these are the words that it understands, for example. So, for example, pretty easy if I give an example. So, my last uh, fail. That's quite simple, right? So, so now it's going to show me the log or the, the last task of mine that failed and also including the uh, tail of the build log. Um, so yeah, I think uh, earlier I tried to rebuild this package, which is failing. Um, and uh, so yeah, it, it's, it's a lot quicker than like jumping into the web interface and then clicking through to the task and then the, yeah, and so on. So I find this quite handy. I think that's all really on uh, on Kodi tool. Um, let's see, so Fedora repo query, yeah, um, so it has a few, um, things it can also do, like it can, um, can also query, uh, Gordy build routes, or our center stream, uh, and I just added today, uh, like support for different, uh, channels of center stream, um, uh, you can also use the DL, uh, like the main um, main repository. And again, that will use separate um, repo data for the DL, so it doesn't override your local mirror data. And you can use, yeah, you can do source queries and uh, also Arch. Um, yeah, you can also see how much space, well, yeah, so I have 3.2 gigabytes of repo query data, which is quite a bit. Um, I may add a feature later that it uses the system repo query, uh, the system repo data for the uh, local uh, version of uh, the system, local system version. But, um, so actually, though, yeah, I said it, this isn't quite finished, so it's not actually quite, <laughs> currently it doesn't handle uh, the updates, which is a bit embarrassing. So yeah, it, it's over at alpha stage at the moment, unfortunately. I had hoped to have it a little bit more complete for this talk, but anyway. Um, yeah. I don't know, we can query something like, uh, I don't know. Um, Um, yeah, and I think I also would like to be able to query multiple versions at the same time and things like that. So this tool actually originally came out of, I, ha I have an internal tool in Red Hat called RHEL Repo Query. Um, well, it's, we have quite detailed repos internally for RHEL, so it's, but so the code actually sort of was evolved from that, which is, which was probably a bad idea because the, the repo structures are so different that it, I don't know, it doesn't completely make 
makes sense, I think. Um, I don't know if, yeah, I think that covers most of it, actually. Um, do people have any questions? Um, okay, let's see if there's anything in the Q&A tab. Okay. Robbie's asked a question. How does Cody Tool handle multiple Cody profiles? Ah, okay. Um, if you mean, ah, okay. No, uh, if you're asking about different Cody instances, right, that's a good question. Yeah. I didn't talk about that. Um, oh, something happened. Uh, oh, another question. I see. Um, so, yeah. Um, also, one, I guess one thing is that these, these commands can be somewhat better integrated in the sense that, I don't know, they actually, this, this program actually evolved from some separate tools, which I sort of brought together into one tool. That, you know, for example, there was a Koji install tool and so on. So, um, see if I can answer your question. Yeah, so for example, you can, um, yeah, let's see. For example, you can query, um, let's try this. Um, let's try and do a, uh, yeah, a stream query um, for, I don't know, uh, or maybe bash or something. Oops, uh, didn't work uh, because, oh, did I do it wrong here? Uh, ah, because it's not little h, it's big h, yeah. <coughs> But that's one example. So these are short sort of shortcuts. Um, sorry, let's, just, let's scroll up a little bit. So yeah, some 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 of the Koji hubs are predefined, like uh, Fedora and the Center Stream Rapium Fusion. But you can also give a full URL to a uh, a Koji hub. Um, it has to be a Koji hub, not not a uh, Koji web, so to speak. So it, it's using the uh, XML, RP, XML RPC uh, web API to query. Uh, there was another question. Um, uh, yes, it's written in Haskell. So then, so, sorry, I don't know how to find your name. Uh, Termak asks, why do I use Haskell? Yeah, that's, that's probably a whole talk in itself. Um, I, I actually find Haskell is a really good uh, scripting language. Um, yeah, so. I, I, don't know, I find it very productive. Um, um, I like I like static types and uh, Haskell. Yeah, lets me write code pretty fast. And uh, um, who could use the Koji servers? Uh, do you mean who can who can query? I think anyone can query. The you don't actually need to be logged in. Um, yeah, to to the Koji um, uh, hubs to to query them. So yeah, I think it's it's sort of open. Um, um, maybe I should say some some queries can be quite intensive. So I mean, I think the queries I showed today were all quite. Like if you try and search for some build in like 2010 or something, it it might take like some minutes because the database has to go and find stuff. But um, see if there's anything else in the chat. Um, CBS, sorry, I'm not sure what CBS means. Um, do you mean CentOS build system? Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, I haven't actually added the uh, the older CentOS 8 um, build system, but that could also work. Um, perhaps I could show the... Uh, Or is this probably a bit big or small rather? Um, I also have a test suite, so there are more examples in here. Um, um, yeah. Anyway. So, more or less out of time. Okay, great. Thanks, Robbie. All right, last last call for any questions. Um, 
Anyway, I hope it's useful. And yeah, um, so Cody Tools already in Fedora, as I said, and I hope that Fedora Repo Crew at least might get into Fedora once it's uh, ready. Um, thanks a lot. Um, yeah, thanks for coming. Um, I appreciate your attention. Thank you so much.